here at Cisco Kits. We would like to welcome you to today's CCNA study topic where we'll be covering how to back up the configuration on your Cisco router. This is something that's fairly easy, um, often overlooked, but you'll find that a backup will come in handy if you accidentally make a mistake in configuring your router, um, accidentally delete it, and it, it provides you a quick and easy way to fall back to a router when there's some sort of upgrade that went awry and the configuration had changed. So, let's start off by taking a look at the syntax. From our previous videos, it should seem somewhat familiar. Um, you do need to get, get into privilege mode, so you'll type enable to get into our privilege mode. And you're going to, in this scenario, the, or the example, we have copy running dash config TFTP. So basically what that's telling us is we're going to copy the running config to the TFTP server. You can also substitute that with the startup config or you know what have you. But it's very very similar to when we did the copy um, TFTP to flash or copy flash to the TFTP server to back up our iOS. So let's bounce on down to our hyperterminal session. We'll log in, go into enable mode, and well, let's first make sure we have our TFTP server. Yes, that is the service is running. And again, the IP address is 192.168.1.99, and we see that the storage folder is Cisco Kits backslash TFTP server backslash server storage. So, all right, what we're going to do is copy and we will do running config to our TFTP server. The IP address of our TFTP server is 192.168.1.99. Destination file name we'll call it the Cisco Kits dash config. That's the name of the router, so that's good. And we will wait for the prompt. Now not a very big file. Only took um, two data packets sent over, whole five seconds, and that completed. Now, what we could do is we could bring up um, that directory on the on the TFTP server just to verify that it's there. Okay, so I brought up Explorer, and I'm going to go into the Cisco Kits folder. And from the Cisco Kits folder, we'll go into TFTP. And then we'll go into our server storage folder. And we should see the configuration file in there. Note you're going to notice there's been a couple other bin files, and there's our Cisco Kits dash config file. So great, it worked. All right. So we hope you found this video to be of use and that it helps you to prepare for your Cisco CCNA certification. We're sure you'll quickly find that hands-on real-world experience is the best way to cement the CCNA concepts and to help you pass your CCNA exam. For more information on how you can obtain affordable CCNA or CCMP study kits, as well as to find more of these valuable CCNA study topics, please visit us at www.ciscokits.com. The study topics can be found under the CCNA menu, CCNA study topics.